know, you know this man is my son in the Lord, and he's doing it, this man, from UK, Dr. Shibjana. <laughs> Dr. Shibjana is, is, a, is really doing, he's on TV now in the UK. Uh, can you tell them, just tell them what is up. He just came here, I was there, he took me to his house in the UK. This man. You have got a church there. I took a Prophet Ducha to his church there. Yes. Tell the word is happening, sir. We thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle. Um, uh, it's a privilege for me to be here to the holy ground of Charis. I came here last time. Uh, in fact, Papa Apostle called us. We came with my wife. We went back. Since then, uh, things have changed in our ministry and in our family. Uh, Apostle and other prophets, two prophets, uh, uh, Prophet uh, Victor and Prophet uh, Mavaya, uh, came to our place, to our church. Papa declared the word. And since then, England, they are coming. They come six hours, eight hours to, to a service of three hours to our ministry. Things have changed. We have seen open doors, miracles, deliverance. We have seen great things. And the apostle declared that uh, he said, I must be on TV. I am on TV now. We thank God for that. We have seen a lot of, when we were on TV, a lot of response. Here from South Africa, they call in, it will be live. All over the world, they call in. We, I have spiritual pastors who are under me as well because of that. Amen. In, I have one from in Indonesia, Philippines, Kenya, Ethiopia, the Malawi, they all submit because of the grace of the apostle. Amen. <laughs> so it's really a great privilege. I didn't have time. I was preaching in Zimbabwe. I had to ask permission from the apostle whether I should come to Zimbabwe. It was a big conference, over 5,000 people. And uh, even the government, I had a privilege because of the Apostle's Grace. The Minister of Tourism is also my son in Zimbabwe. I didn't know him, but he just because of the grace in this ministry and upon uh, Apostle Makanani together with Amai, I, I just want to thank God. I just want to thank God. I cannot explain it all. I had a tumor in the, uh, in the brain but Papa prayed for me, and it disappeared. The, the consultants, the four consultants, they were British four consultants. One of them is now a Christian out of that miracle. So I'm here just this week of grace to contact grace to finish the year in style because of the grace. Amen. Uh, Dr. Shibiana, God is using him now. As you can hear, people are calling him all over the world. And then the moment he appears, and still, we are still going to see a Lord in your sight. It is true that I was told that you will never die because of that tumor. And uh, when I see God doing this, uh, it's really amazing. We have to give glory to God. Yeah, really. yeah. And, and I know you're not here for anything. God is going to impart you more for your ministry. Yes. Because God has raised you. I'm very happy. I receive. You know, that place we traveled three hours from London. Yes. It's called what? Nottingham. Nottingham. Yes. Nottingham. Mm. Yes. So we went there. We had a very good meeting. Mm -hmm. I took a prophet to Jah and 
and Emmanuel there were there in his church. It was a very good meeting. Mm. So I'm very happy for this man. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This, you know, I will tell you something that will really bother you. Uh, it must be your assignment. If you see this man is in the UK and not in Nottingham, because always I will say Nottingham, but say Nottingham. I will hear him saying that Nottingham. Nottingham. When we were there, he took us to his house, so where he stays. It's not a person who's trying. This man. If you can hear, say, I'm besides this, that, that. People like this, considering pastors here in South Africa, it is something else. You must know that. It's not something that you can just say, oh, it's just happening. It must happen by chance. I, I want to say to all pastors that we must, we must learn to find a revelation concerning this. We must, you know, get a revelation of understanding submission. This man always, he sent me tithe. Am I lying? Yes. Huh? Yes, I sent tithe. Always I get tithe of, of, of pound from this man. I'm South Africa here, I have to catch rent. But I see, there, are, there are people like this one, after they get revelation, you can't, you can't suppress them. This is a, a lesson to all pastors. Because as anointed as he is, he's even writing books, this man. This man, he can write books, do this. Uh, I have his, one of his copy of a book. I read it. And I found that this man already was already advanced, but submission is what we are lacking in South Africa. And uh, now, can you see what is happening now in our churches? I told you last time that we are going to have a serious problem. I told you. And this problem will humble us to pray. This is the problem that you see well-known pastors running away from South Africa. You'll be surprised the churches like this is going to be like a market of bananas. And this is the time that now we, we, we can't submit to. We fight foreigners. Look okay. here. We can't submit. We fight foreigners. When foreigners come, we don't want them. And here, yeah, we know very well that revival started somewhere. It must come here through those foreigners. So now, God will teach us to be foreigners. Or how is to be a foreigner? Think about now, you hear that I'm no longer here, I'm in Australia. You'll, you'll be surprised, people there becoming serious and supporting. In South Africa, something like this, what this man is doing, he knows where he comes from. For him to submit, to a man of God, he understands this is a genuine man of God. So yes, we have never met problems. For him to be healed of tumor, to, you know tumor? Tumor. Tumor, you must burn it. You must go there, they burn it, they try to operate, they do this, whatever. His mind must be, when you call me this man, even his speech was taken. But to come here and say I'm here is a lesson of submission. He, this man can't deny me anything. If now I say I want to come to UK, let me go to, you know, from my, that Nottingham. Place, Nottingham. Nottingham. This man will say, come and stay with me. According to me, this is what submission. Thank you. It's a lesson. Look here, this man. He wanted to go to Zimbabwe. He had to contact me first. Can I go to Zimbabwe for crusade? Look at yourself. I've, I've seen the vision. I've seen the, what kind of vision you saw? 
That is why you find that there's limitations. Do you know what is the meaning of submission? Eh? Can I tell you? Eh? Can I tell you the meaning of submission? Eh? The meaning of submission means face it before I face it. It's a simple meaning. Face it before I face it. Come here. Face this. This man is in front of me. He must face my problem before I face it. I'm always safe if I'm under his submission. Face it before I face it. So, the reason why submission takes me ahead of this man is because where he will reach, I'm there behind him. If he can move aside or God takes him, I'm able to move forward. You can't do it alone or on your own. Tell him, I want to face it. I want to face it. But someone it. must face it first. Okay, okay, clap first first. So let's leave them. How many of you know submission? How many of you understand the submission now? All right. Submission means face it before I face it. If God is not telling this man, eh, it means he's not telling me. That is why if you have got total submission, God can still use the voice of this man to be his voice to you, to hear him clear. If submission, I'm saying it about, uh, I'm talking about submission. If it's very, very real for you, you can hear God like you are hearing men. If submission makes sense to you. But if not, you will suffer how you hear God. South Africa, we are lacking submission. That is why we fight everyone who is better than us. Let's leave that. Let me share the word of God.